Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review. This time we are reviewing Looking for Mr. Goodbar. 1977 gave this movie a rating of 6. It was viewed in 2016. Looking for Mr. Goodbar. There you have a picture of Diane Keaton in a bar. Uh, smoking, drinking, and the likes. Based on a real life female school teacher who was murdered in 1973. Looking for Mr. Goodbar is a just to just disjointed mess with any repetitions, many repetitions, but the point has been made. It's much, pretty much Diane Keaton's movie and she gives a very realistic performance. Her character, Teresa, tries to be part of the times by being involved with the bar scene, making a clumsy mistake here and there, not really being careful about herself, and letting strange men come and go through her apartment. In a way, every man is worse than the last one. The last one turns out to be the worst one of them all costing her life in an unforgettable bizarre rape murder scene. At the same time, her drug use and appetite for sex spiral out of control. It's easy to feel bad for Teresa who shows symptoms of a borderline personality disorder because she looks the type that can do a lot better and be with somebody who is at least decent. Really, there is no reason for her to be involved with drugs. By the way, when Richard Gere's character mentioned to Teresa that he saw The Godfather and liked Al Pacino's performance, Diane Keaton was actually in it and had, re had a relationship with Al. Checking out Diane Keaton's signs, I thought they were highly accurate in two different ways. When T Teresa was learning ASL, she showed beginner's mistakes just a bit far off from where the hands should be at or not technically correct. When she worked as a teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing, her signs were pretty much correct. However, Teresa is not a good interpreter and needs more training. No matter what, it's an excellent job overall. Tuesday Weld secured only Oscar nomination of her career. It should have been gone to Diane Keaton, who would win the Oscar, uh, who would win the award during the same year for her performance in Annie Hall by playing as Teresa's sister. She is okay in the movie, really a secondary character, just going through the motions. It's safe to say that Richard Gere and Tom Berenger Berenger launched her, their careers based on their work and looking for Mr. Goodbar. Both are very good. Richard would do the exact same thing in Breathless. For Tom, this is certainly a different league, so I am very surprised. He would later admit that playing as Gary gave him nightmares afterwards. LeVar Burton, who's famous for playing Kuta Quinte in Roots, makes his cinematic film debut in Looking for Mr. Goodbar. The same thing goes for Bran, Denny, and I thought he had been acting for a long time before that, but he wouldn't be popular yet until he appeared in First Blood. All in all, Looking for Mr. Goodbar predates the AIDS epidemic and shows how dangerous, especially for females, bar hopping is while being under the influence can be. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time in another